hi there welcome to today's uh, ICT practical paper class okay so today we'll be uh, attempting the edexcel IGCSE ICT 2020 practical paper okay and we will be starting off with the graphic designing activity this is the first activity that appears in this paper okay and uh, a quick reminder if you require the data files or if you require if you have any questions as you go along in the paper you can send your questions to the itlab.lk at gmail.com and as soon as possible I'll try and respond to you try to respond to your questions okay or to your requests okay uh, okay let's get started on the paper then so over here I have the paper opened on my uh, device okay so this is the May 2020 ICT practical paper okay uh, when you come down over here you have five different activities that need to be completed graphics database presentation spreadsheet and word processing okay so in this video we'll be only doing the graphics activity and next video we'll be moving on to database uh, over here the scenario is given as you know every past paper is based on a scenario so this is about uh, lucia is the owner of lang getaways the company offers holiday accommodation in the uk so these are the company's contact details and also keep in mind there is something known as house style since 2018 we have something known as a house style something that we need to do when it comes to company documents such as reports such as slides such as letterheads letters okay so remember when it comes to maintaining the house style the company name should be a sans serif font which means a font without pointy edges and the logo should always be positioned in the bottom center okay so this is something you have to remember throughout your paper so wherever they tell you make sure it follows the house style you have to ensure the company name is a sans is is in a sans serif font and the logo is in the bottom center okay uh, coming to our first activity task a1 Lucia needs a logo to be used on some of the company's documents okay so open a new word processing document enter these details in the header and save the document as task a1 okay so let's go into our folder and uh, in your folder itself it would be best if you can save your uh, if you can save the uh, the the uh, files okay so if you can everything if you can have everything if you can have everything saved in one folder that will be very much more better for you you'll be much more organized okay so you can right click over here and uh, you can say you want a new word document and uh, the name of the document would be task a1 so let's open it up and let's immediately go into the header okay so you can double click on the header the header opens up and you can type your details task a1 your name your candidate number and your center number so once you're done with the header you can click close header and footer okay so you're done with this gray color area okay then it goes on to say create the logo the logo must be fit for purpose and be a simple drawing that uses lines and shapes and it should include the company name or lang okay so you are supposed to be creating the logo from scratch itself okay so you can use photoshop okay but in this case i would prefer using paint okay because our next activity will be requiring us to use photoshop so let me use paint for this okay so let me come to start and open up paint so i have paint on my screen and i have the shapes and lines that i can use so uh, let me go with something very simple like maybe draw a van something like this I don't I don't think you can call this a van uh, mm, let's go with something like this and uh, uh, what else shall we put over here let's let's draw this as well inside it okay something like that okay let's bring this correctly to the middle okay somewhere there somewhere there uh, let's put this in red color and uh, let's put the text lang okay so let's give a text box over here and let's type lang okay so let's uh, keep this in the red color red, sorry black color should be fine let's bring this into the middle correctly okay somewhere over there okay there you go and uh, what I got to do is uh, yeah this looks fine to me looks like a very very simple logo uh, once you're okay with it you can come up with whatever shape you want I ju this just came up to this just came to my mind and I'm gonna go ahead with this uh, you can always put whatever you like okay 
so if you're happy with it I'm just gonna come out of it this is how my logo is going to be obviously all this unnecessary white space should not be there so let me select only the logo select only the logo and then let me come and click on crop okay so only the logo is visible all that unnecessary white space has been removed okay then the question paper goes on to say save the logo as LG logo insert a doc copy of the logo into document task a1 so let me come over here file save as ensure that you are saving this in your 2020 folder itself okay so LG logo the logo has been saved now let me take a copy of this where is it uh, control C let's come to Microsoft Word and control V okay so your logo has been pasted then the question paper goes on to say do not print at this stage uh, task A1B Lucia wants to use an image of a caravan on an advert she has an image saved as a caravan edit the image and this is what you're supposed to be doing to the image so let us first open up this image in Photoshop because if you want to do these editions I think it's best to use Photoshop okay so let's go and locate the image caravan first so let's come to our images folder and inside your images folder you can see there's an image called caravan let's uh, bring that into Photoshop itself so drag and drop let's drop it on the top not in the middle area on the top area okay so the first requirement that the pass paper tells us is remove the tower from the image so there is a tower somewhere on the image that needs to be removed yes if you look very carefully you can see somewhere over here we have a tower okay so obviously cropping the image would not work erasing also would not work so best what we could do is we have something called a clone stamp tool okay shortcut key is s so what you can do is take in the clone stamp tool you can select an area that you want to replicate okay an area that you want to basically kind of copy okay so you can you see this circle that's appearing okay so when I press alt right now I'm pressing the alt key when I press alt it asks me okay what is the area that you want to copy okay what is the area that you want to copy so I'll tell my computer this is the area I want to copy from somewhere here I want to start copying so I press alt and now I click on this area okay so while holding the alt key I clicked on that area basically telling my computer start copying co start copying from this area now what I do is I bring the clone stamp tool over this tower now can you see as I bring it over this tower this area's design is automatically appearing over here okay now watch as I start coloring over it as I start painting over it okay so now look I'm gonna click and start moving can you see that plus symbol that plus symbol is showing the area that I selected so when I move my cursor that plus symbol also moves with it okay so very gently let's slowly move it and let's start coloring this area very very gently okay there you go there you go okay let's readjust our copying area somewhere here alter and let's start coloring again there you go okay so this caravan got slightly touched no probs okay since you edited it you might realize it but for somebody else it might be like you know they, I don't think they will notice it okay uh, <coughs> next the question paper goes on to say uh, increase to increase the size of the satellite dish okay so there is a satellite dish they're referring to this one okay so this satellite dish the size of this dish has got to be increased okay so you have to only select a satellite dish okay so when it comes to selection you have this selection tool the second one on your left it's called a rectangular marquee tool but the problem with this tool is you cannot only select a satellite okay because it selects in a square shape so look when I select it even a part of the sky is going to appear okay and when I resize it the sky is also going to get resized so not a very good idea so let me deselect it let's take the selection tool let's come here right click and say deselect okay so that has got deselected instead let's zoom in I pressed control and plus okay let's zoom in once more okay and what we can do is we have something called a magnetic lasso tool the third tool on your left okay there's something called lasso there's something called magnetic magnetic is a little easier to use it will automatically uh, select what you want okay so let's go ahead with magnetic lasso tool okay and let's carefully click on this circle and carefully move your cursor around the circle right now I'm not clicking okay I just clicked at the beginning so I define the starting point if you feel that the line is going out of shape you can click again and then you can adjust again okay let's come somewhere here again click come somewhere here again click somewhere here again click 
somewhere here carefully again click come down come down come down come down so this is a little messy to do okay once you're happy with the uh, whole thing you can and let's uh, very very carefully I've clicked again and uh, let's move here okay so once it's touching the first dot you can leave the mouse okay so you can see it has selected but not a proper selection okay uh, it's okay no probs so now once you have got your selection in place now it's time to resize that selection okay so what you can do is you can simply right click over here and you can say uh, free transform okay so free transform will allow you to resize this okay so let's click on free transform okay and you can see the corners have become uh, adjustable for you so from this top corner while holding the shift key why are we holding the shift key so that it will proportionally increase okay uh, so while holding on the shift key, uh, while holding on to the shift key let's click over here and let's make it bigger 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 something like that okay this red area is appearing over here so let's move the image slightly over there so that that doesn't appear okay and if you are happy with this let's make it slightly bigger okay don't make it too big where the image starts to appear blurry if you're happy with this you can go ahead and press enter go ahead and press enter and you can deselect this area so just right click over here and say deselect and now let's zoom out and see how it looks so uh, doesn't look too bad uh, but you can see this area appears a bit blurry and uh, selection you can see it's a little not very sharp it's not too sharp okay anyway no probs uh, uh, I think that should be good enough for the examiner okay let's move on to the next question then then it goes on to say by cropping to remove the top third of the image so the top third of the image I assume it would be somewhere around here okay so you can click on the crop tool shortcut key is C okay so if you press the shortcut key C you I mean if you press C you will be going to the crop tool and I think you should be able to crop all the way up to somewhere here uh, now that's I think a little more you can go down somewhere over here yeah this should be enough for the top third of the image okay so once you're satisfied with what you have selected you can go ahead and press enter the image gets cropped okay then the question paper goes on to say uh, adding the name of the company to the top area of the image so the name of the company is uh, Lang getaways okay so let's take the text box and let's draw it from end to end from this end to this end and let's put the text Lang getaways okay and ensure that it's in it's a sans serif font so the safest option is Microsoft sans serif itself okay just reminding you sans serif is a font that does not have pointy edges okay so if you're not sure that your font has pointy edges or not just go ahead with Microsoft sans serif because that is definitely a sans serif font okay once you are done with this the next thing that you are supposed to be doing is uh, save the image as caravan 2 now something to keep in mind is when you're saving this image you can notice that there are two layers this is the background and this is the text that you placed on top of the image so if a photoshop file has more than one layer if it has more than one layer i would recommend you save it in two formats one is the photoshop format and one is the jpeg format okay so the photoshop format will be in case you want to edit the image later on while the jpeg format will be solely for viewing purposes and for pasting it into your microsoft word document okay so what you do is you come to file you come to save as <coughs> come to your 2020 folder and you can save this as caravan 2 okay that's the name the past paper told us so i'm first saving it in photoshop format save okay and then i'm also be going to say i'm also going to save it in jpeg format uh, as caravan 2 save uh, you can keep the quality at 12 maximum no props and when you come to your folder when you come to the 2020 folder you can see you have the jpeg image which is just for viewing purposes and you also have the photoshop file in case you want to change the text later on in case you want to move the text in case you want to change the color of the text later on okay so if you want to do any additions thereafter you will always be able to use the photoshop file okay so whenever saving photoshop files that have more than one layer keep two copies one is a photoshop copy and one is the jpeg copy that is for viewing purposes only okay so i think with that we have come to the end of activity number one uh, we are supposed to insert a copy of it into task a1 let's quickly do that 
control C control V and then the question paper goes on to say save task A1 print task A1 on A4 paper okay so you can just press control P okay locate your printer from over here okay and then you can go ahead and click on print it okay make sure it's fitting one a4 paper because the pa question paper has specifically mentioned that okay it should fit on one side of a4 okay so with that we have come to the end of graphics editing next we will be moving on to the database question okay uh, so see you in the next video